Hello, this is going to be a, a ranking of the alien movies. Why do you awesome. sound dead inside? Because it was a long journey to watch all the alien movies. You wanted to watch all of them, not me. No, you wanted to watch the third one, and then I was like, okay, well, let's watch all of them then. So, number nine. Because there's nine? nine? There's ten or nine of these things, including I the ABP there were movies. Seven or something. So, obviously, Alien vs. Predator Re Requiem at the bottom. We didn't even watch that one. I told her we don't need to watch that one. It's awful. What would be the worst Alien movie, in your opinion, that you saw? I'm thinking. Oh, my toes were cold. That's why I had them tucked up. Well, you think, I would say the worst Alien movie would probably be, for me, Alien 3. We watched the assembly cut, and people will say the assembly cut is significantly better than the original cut. And this movie is well known for having a lot of studio meddling, which is why it turned out to be a shit film. Considering you had the likes of David Fincher directing, and it still turned out bad. There was just nothing in this movie that I found entertaining. Like, not even the alien. Like, like when you go from... Aliens to Alien because or Alien Three. Yeah, but Alien Three, I would personally rewatch. It's like if I was bored and had nothing else to watch, I'd rewatch it. But the last two ones we watched, I would not rewatch. I would rewatch the last two over Alien Three any day because Alien Three, I just was so boring, and then I could not get over the fact that they kill. I think you two... were just in a bad mood when we watched it. <laughs> no, it was so boring, and then they killed like two characters where the. because they basically set up in the end of Alien, they they lead you to believe that oh. Sigourney Weaver and Michael Bean's character, they're going to come together and basically have a surrogate family with uh, Newt. And then, no, the Alien 3 is like, fuck all that shit, we hate those characters. The writers literally hated those characters, so they're like, no, we're going to kill them off and then we're just going to redo Alien, basically. But in a, on a prison planet with a bunch of uh, male people, male prisoners that have been celibate because they have, they've had no access to women... And they took a vow of being celibate, even though they didn't really have many options except each other. Yeah, it was just... Because it wanted to be a dark and cynical movie, but it, it wasn't... It didn't do anything entertaining. It didn't have anything interesting to say. It was just like, oh, let's redo Alien, but shittier Lee. Well, oh, I think I liked it more than you because I was worried they were going to make her become some, like, a mom kind of figure and take away her toughness, and I don't like that. But they like... didn't. Exactly. So it's a good thing about oh. it. I mean, I didn't want them to die, but if they hadn't died, then she would have had to be all soft and motherly and caring well, and go more into even... traditional woman's role, which I didn't want. I didn't even care for any of the characters, and they had, like, Charles Dance in it and everything, and I was just like, ugh. And yeah, Sigourney's Weaver, like, Sigourney Weaver's character in this movie, like, after, you know, she'd been through Alien and Aliens, like, I thought they were going to explore the themes of grief and all that, but they didn't really even do that, which was kind of Well, I mean, th remember this happened, like, the second alien was in the course of what like a day all the alien stuff basically and then so she goes to sleep and then she wakes up and it's all shit all over again so you kind of need it to be a break for you to actually sit and assess what's going on she doesn't get a break oh well yeah so that's my worst movie that i would not want to rewatch. What, what's yours i don't know i think for me if you i think everything after the fourth one i just yeah but which one would be the worst <laughs> alien versus predator was bad but at least the, i liked the aliens and stuff Except they killed my favorite one. And then Prometheus was... The characters are too... I mean, it was good acting, but the characters are just too stupid. I don't like when they're stupid characters. I can't believe smart characters. That's okay, why but I which like one is the worst one? I think the one that we would just watch. Mainly because there was just so much leading up to that point. You had to watch Alien so Covenant. much. And then you finally got there, and then there were all these random characters. They all made stupid decisions, and not a single one of them... Just like, I didn't care about any of them. Not a single one. I didn't care about David. I didn't care about Walter. I didn't care about what's her name. I didn't care about what's his name. I don't care about any of them. I cared about David because he's. Like, I find his whole like oh creation. I he his obsession with creation. I, I thought was super interesting. I think it would have been more. I would have found it more interesting if Elizabeth had been like you know if he had cared for her in his own way and then she had died, you know in transit and then he just got extra crazy because he was by himself without anyone or anything. But instead, it was just like, I'm just going to go very far down the path of being a crazy creator. Like a discount Einstein kind of guy. Yeah, it did make he did make a large leap in um, his, his madness, but... And it wasn't explained because he was very methodical in the first 
his first appearance, and then after he was just like. My crazy theory creator. is that after he saw, because he was obviously obsessed with, um, you know, creation, but to see the creators of humans who created him, he thought there would be something more to the engineers, but in turn they were just like shitty, just like the humans. So I think that's what accelerated his like. No, like. But then why does he think he can create a perfect thing? Because it's not perfect in terms of its morals or ethics. Yeah, it's only he wants perfect to, because it's fast and strong, which yeah, doesn't make well, sense. Well, because he wants to create something perfect to destroy stuff. That, because he, he wants to create to destroy because he thinks by that by destroying you create. But it seems so stupid because he also admires so many things that people create art and stuff, and then he creates this, you know, this ugly killing machine. Well, yeah, that's that the dichotomy no... of the character. That's yeah, why he's interesting. Makes sense. They don't explore that at all in the first one. Before he's yeah, he's experimenting. That's kind of also his job, and he's doing it on request, and he also is smart about it. He goes about it. And this one, he just goes crazy by himself on a planet, and they still never explain why there's freaking wheat there. Yeah, well, at least it had good alien action. So that would be your worst yeah, movie. Yeah, but I didn't so, like the aliens either because they made them all like their their hips were all weird and their legs were like flat like this. I think the aliens like, look people. cooler. I think the aliens look way cooler in Covenant than the original alien because the original alien is kind of like this, but the Covenant alien is kind of like this, and it made more sense. It made it like yeah, it looks like agile. you when you're walking funny as a joke. <laughs> That's why yeah, it, it looks very, cool. It wasn't very impressive. Besides, anything that walks like that just automatically looks less creepy. Okay, back on track. So yes. AVPR, for me, Alien 3, and then for you, it's, um... As far as the worst ones? Alien Covenant. And then this, the next one in the list, going from worst to best, would be Alien vs. Predator for me. Because, yeah, going back the... and rewatching it, because it, 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 the writers, um, it didn't have any writers from the original Predator, but it had some of the uh, original writers from Alien come in to... In to to help write it and you could tell because the aliens are way cooler in this movie and the predators are literally just fucking stupid as shit yeah and the which main sucked. character i said the whole time focused on her overplugged eyebrows on her hair that was styled weirdly instead the of the main character she was basically sigourney weaver's character but acted horribly because she came off as like kind of like smug and just like not smug but like uh, just like her attitude towards like oh I, i'm only doing this because i want people to be safe like if she came off with like more empathy it would have came across better but the way she acted it it, it just made her kind of insufferable and, and also whoever made the movie well, I, feel like they don't, US Anderson. Well, I feel like they never have anybody that has scientific experience make the movies because they're like oh i'm an environmental technician or whatever <laughs> do they know what kind of job that is well that's the not whole something that she you know she seems very pompous and that's not it just doesn't jive. Well, the whole setting of um, the pyramid being under ice, I thought was really cool too. And then the flashback sequences where you see the aliens like crawling up the pyramid, I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, yeah, except that didn't make sense. How did they get so many aliens all of a sudden if they're contained in a pyramid? They're, you you yeah. can't apply that level of logic to a Paul W. S. Anderson. Yeah, but that's film. stupid. If I can't apply logic, why am I watching? I'm just watching it because there's cool lights and shapes in my eyes. Yeah, so that I would rank that next. What would you rank next? Well, okay, so I think, essentially we've watched, so, uh, Covenant, for me, is the worst one. Then Prometheus, just because it just felt really unnecessary. And I also thought it was really funny that, obviously, a guy was in charge. He's like, oh, the perfect being would have giant muscles and everything. It's just, whatever. Yeah, clearly, they thought very deeply about the perfect being, as if that's all that makes them perfect. Uh, and then Alien vs. Predator, because at least it had cool aliens, so it made up for some of the other crap. And it had some good characters, they just weren't very big characters. For me, I would probably the do... third one... I would... Huh? I'm going in order. Then the third one for me is the worst. And then... I don't know. First, third, and fourth are all pretty good. Okay, next... I think... No, no, I mean, first, second, and fourth are all pretty good. I don't know. I like the fourth one the most, because it's an ending that I like, but it's not a cheesy happy ending. Okay, you just go by your in orders when you go to the next one, and then I'll go by mine in order. So mine would be AVPR, Alien 3, Alien vs. Predator, and then uh, Prometheus. Because I really like the ideas of, like, you know, the themes that it explores in Prometheus, but by the time you get to the third act, it just, like, all falls apart, and it's just so disappointing. Um, I think it's funny that every time you're like, this one's pretty good, and then after I disagree with you, the next day you're like, yeah, it's not that good. It's totally no, it's opinion. just like, Prometheus, like, I, like, it's, going into Prometheus and Alien Covenant after having seen them when they first came out and having my initial reaction, and then going into it now, like, knowing what they are, it's a much more enjoyable experience, but... I was really digging Prometheus, like, in the first, like, first and second half, and then by the time you get to the third half, like I said, it just falls apart, and it's just like, 
Like, the scene, I think, when the decline starts is when they meet the engineer. That's when it just, like, just started going downhill. I'm just like, oh, disappointing. I think it's all so stupid. Okay, go down your list in order. Why would you choose people to go on a mission if none of them have any survival skills or intelligence? Because well, it actually, was, that's the stupid question. It was, rev- it was revealed that Wayland was using David to, like, be, like, test on these people. Yeah, but I answered my own question. I thought about people, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, go down your list again. Uh, well, uh, Covenant, Prometheus, and Alien vs. Predator, which also had the awesome Italian actor from Under the Tuscan... Is it Under the Tuscan Sun? Yes, I think that's what it's called. And his character was nice, he was smart. I liked his character. And he died for a good reason instead of just because he was being an idiot. Okay, next. Which made it better. Um, and then the third one, and then... I think the second one, and then fourth and first. The first has to be the best. It just has to. Okay, so after Prometheus, I would put, uh... Alien Romulus because this movie is just forgettable. About that. This movie is so extremely forgettable. Like I, because it does everything that's ever that's been done in the Alien franchise in terms of how it like you know the pl- um the plot structure and all that. But it just it doesn't add anything new really. Like thinking back on it, it's just eh. so AVPR, Alien Three, Alien vs Predator, Prometheus, Alien Romulus, and then I would do. You should get a whiteboard and write these up. That makes more sense. I would do. It's, I would say, oh, Alien Resurrection. Alien Resurrection is extremely fun, and I, I, I don't know why people like Alien 3 way more than Alien Resurrection, because at least Alien Re- Resurrection does something new with the lore, and it's really fun to watch, and it has a, int- like a cool the, cast of characters. The, like, the effects are good. That was one of the bigger issues with the third one, that the effects were not very good, and they had the little It's because alien. the way they lit the alien. Like, the they did this, like, something with the graph, the digital effects or something. Where I mean, they... I know why, but who looked at that and thought that was okay to have that be the final product? Yeah, like, going from Alien 3 to Alien Resurrection, the effects are way better. And, yeah, and then you got Brad Dorf being a weirdo, like, kissing the alien. That was cool. Like, who needed uh... to see that, but... So, I would do Alien Resurrection and then Alien um, Covenant. Because Covenant is ha- has to serve as a sequel to both Prometheus and Alien, basically. Anyways, what I was saying was um, Alien Covenant had to serve as a sequel to both Aliens and uh, Alien... Or Prometheus. Because the criticisms coming off of Prometheus was, Oh, there's no aliens. This is weird. Why are we doing this weird, like... Lame critique thing. of like and creation wired, and all that yeah it didn't make any sense yeah so and they also changed how the black blue worked in prometheus which is covenant which was stupid yeah because all the sequel promethean prometheus elements so they were just like they just spent like speed ran through all that shit but then they basically made an alien movie around that and honestly it's one of the better alien movies because the gore is so awesome this the scenes are literally like legitimately intense and it's so well directed yeah you think they're intense they're super intense they're super well constructed the the set pieces are awesome the sound design is immaculate i thought the effects were oh dude yeah alien covenant is like one of the best alien movies for sure and then of course there was so much that didn't make sense though doesn't matter it was it was awesome it looked awesome it sounded awesome if you look beyond the wow of the things that pop up in your face what do you actually think about it it's pretty awesome so, and then obviously the last, the first, the two best Alien movies is Alien or Alien. So it doesn't matter. Those are interchangeable. But for me, per- personally, Alien. I think the first one has to be the best. Because you, it's your introduction. Yeah, but Aliens Everything is more fun. Is, yeah, but it's, it's, the, it's so good and it's the original. And it's a good standalone too. There's, you, none of the others can It's extremely, suspe- it's a master class in suspense and all that and... The whole setting and everything, yeah, but... For because me- everything else, even if it's really good, it's never going to be the first time again. <sighs> yeah, but Aliens is just, it's so much more fun. And you got Bill Paxton. Game over, man. Yeah, and the characters are cool, I don't know. Wow, that gave me so much more space. Okay, so... Alien vs. Predator Re- Requiem. Alien 3. Prometheus, Alien Romulus, Covenant, Resurrection, or no, Resurrection Covenant, Alien, Aliens. Your list. I gave my list like three different times. Yeah, well, we didn't get to... Okay, do it again. Okay, uh, whatever the newest one was, just because, you know, they can't even think of a single new thing to do in it. Yeah, Romulus is the worst one, in my opinion, just because of that. No, nothing original. 
then Covenant, Prometheus, Alien vs. Predator, Alien 3, Alien, yeah, Aliens, and then Resurrection, and then Alien. You like Resurrection better than Aliens? I think so. Just because it does something different, and it's a conclusion. That's a really hot take. That's a really hot take. Like, I love Alien Resurrection, and we didn't even watch the, the, the assembly cut, the director's cut. It didn't add much new. Like, the assembly cut of Alien 3, like, it adds a whole lot more. But the special yeah, but edition... Alien 2 is good, but it's similar enough to Alien that if I'm rating Alien as the first one, then I'm going to rate Resurrection as the second one. Yeah, first. but Aliens is a masterclass because, one, is, like... It added the action element to, You're still not gonna to Alien. It added the action element to Alien. It still carried... You don't think Alien had action? Li it did, but Aliens was way more... Okay, listen. It added the action Put element your head on your own in, in the spectacle. It still maintained the mystery and mystique of the Alien while also expanding the lore. Yeah, but sometimes I don't want to always keep expanding lore. The whole point is that they're mysterious and we don't know much about them. That's kind of what gives them the creeps. If you know everything about them, it's okay, well, they're still creepy, but it's just, like, you know. I don't know, it's... the alien never scared me like that. Like, I never was, like, scared, like, oh, where does this thing come from? I was more interested in, oh, where does this thing come from? But that's just me. Like, personally, people are more towards the mindset of, oh, it's more scary when you don't know where it comes from. But well, for like, me, I like to know where things come from. It's like anything. If, you know, if you see somebody in the dark and you can't really see who they are, you're more scared than if you, if you see it. It's just me standing up in the middle of the night being like, that's the whole point. Knowing takes away a lot of the power of it. it yeah, but we're way, you. we're way too far gone with the Alien franchise. Yeah, There's that's no why I think back. it was lame. I think this should have stopped a long time ago, but they just keep being like, we can make more money. Just like Pirates of the Caribbean. <sighs> when it's good, stop before it gets bad. You don't want to spoil the taste for anyone. I will say, the ending of Aliens was, going back in, in retrospective, was a bit underwhelming. Because, I mean, it it's is It's like cool. a copy of the first one. No, it's cool where, like, you know, have you have the line where Ripley's like, get away from her, you bitch! Like, the iconic oh, line yeah. or whatever. But that. the whole scene, like, the, the fight scene between her and the Queen Alien was just so clunky and, like, goofy. And slow, and they just kind of did away with physics for a minute where they're like, space! Fine. Anybody can survive that. How many movies recre recreated that? Because the whole, like, you know, in the first Alien, it's like, oh, she's finally... This, this obviously, Alien is the best movie to do this, where, oh, they're finally safe and at peace, and then, no, it's revealed the Alien's there. So, Aliens did that with the Queen. It does that in every single movie. Did it do that with every... I don't remember it doing that with Alien 3. They didn't do that with Alien 3, because she kills herself. No, they did for a second. They're like, oh, it's in the lead, and it pops out again. Every single movie, they just keep... Like, they keep. It didn't do that with Alien Resurrection. Exactly. Didn't do that with Alien Resurrection. No, it did. Didn't it with the baby? Or did the baby thing you chase her? I don't know, but it wasn't... No, the they killed the baby thing. Yeah, but it was on the ship again. Oh, oh yeah. Ah, think of a new plot. Okay, well, Prometheus <laughs> didn't do it. Yes, it did. No. If the, the, the if, dude chased her onto the ship again. With the and then he gets killed by the starfish thing. Yeah. So first everything's fine. He's on the ship and it's like ah shit. Yeah, but I don't. I never got the sense that, that there was like a sense of like oh we finally made it. Oh no, I guess yeah, because the engineer. I guess every time they're like oh we're, oh oh no. I think. My favorite iteration of that, aside from the original Alien, would probably be Covenant. Because not only did you have, like, the the aspect of the Alien, like, being there, but you also had, like, the hidden aspect of, like, David being there, and, like, ooh, I wonder what this means. Like, is it gonna help them? And then you get, you get the Alien vision and shit, and then you get, like, the cool-ass shower scene death where he's, like, and then it's, like, Psh. Alien Covenant like has the, the best the kill. Scene. Settle down. <laughs> Alien Covenant has the best death scenes in all the Alien franchise. Anyways, turning to the shower scene, when you look to the shower that sprays from all angles, it gets your back and it gets your head and it gets your arms. This is beside the point. The gore was so 
amazing. Like when they're they're in the field and the little white aliens like just like and it's got the sick ass sound effect and then this tail just goes and it just. Yeah, but that was, it just makes that was just job. like in Jurassic Park where they're in the long grass and there's a the velociraptor. See, none of it is original. All of it is a copy. But the face. way it was done was immaculate. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. They made them move so fast and they were bulletproof, and then they still barely managed to hurt anyone. And, and then they when still the died. and then when the alien came out and it came out the dude's mouth and he's like, Bleh! and I was like, oh my god. And when the thing bit her in half, it was like, and there's like blood everywhere. That was. It also didn't make sense. Why, if it goes in your ear, it comes out of your chest. If it goes in your brain, or you swallow it, it comes out of your... I don't know. Whatever. I'm looking for logic where there isn't logic. And also, I think you get really excited for gore when there's, like, splattery blood. But I love that. It was lame. It was awesome. It was like somebody took one of those little blood packets and it's like... No, the blood looks so good. It was amazing. And I also really love the scene when David's dropping the, the black goo onto them. And then it's just like, before like the, the scene ends, it's just like, the camera's just like, just flying across the thing. And you just see all the black goo everywhere. Oh, dude, that scene was... The Alien Covenant is so well shot. It's like, actually, like, befuddling. Like, it, I, like oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. I remember my initial reaction to the movie just being like, so confused because i remember there being so much that i liked about it but then also being like man i wish they did more with the prometheus plot i was probably like the only one that thought that though hmm. in terms of like prometheus that with Prometheus. like the whole idea of like um you know the who, who created us and why did they create us and all that stuff um yeah and then people always think there has to be a deep uh, you know answer it's like we're special well yeah because the, special the characters in prometheus yeah the characters in prometheus they never they they have this hopeful kind of like they're asserting meaning onto things that aren't there like the, the, there must be a reason they created us it must be oh we want to know we want to know but what if they don't want to answer your questions what if you were a mistake what if they all these also different think, things so they think that they were created for a special reason which makes no sense because they don't show any special qualities in fact, the smartest person is Vickers, so if anything, I'd say she's more special. Because at least she's, you know, she's got something. Even if it's not, you know, a nice person, I think. She's got something going for her. And then they also think that they're owed answers by their creators that created them for some reason that we clearly don't know what Looking it is. Looking back on it, the only reason the first two acts of Prometheus really, really, like, stick with me is because the acting. It's because it's an ensemble cast. Like, you have Idris Elba, Charlize Theron... Um, Guy Pierce, uh, Logan Marshall Green, the main lady. What's her name? I uh, can't remember. Numi something or other. Numi Rapace or something like that. Yeah, you just have all these amazing actors that elevate these like stupid characters. Cause, but it just think if well, they're stupid in the sense that if you didn't have such good actors, it would be way worse. That's what I'm is, saying. That's terrible though. If your movies only say because you have incredible well, no, actors. no, because. They're only stupid in the sense that they're victims. They're victims of their own biases. So they're stupid. But that's human nature. They're victims of their own bias. Yeah, you, but they're, they're every character they're cannot be a smart be character, scientists. or there would be no plot. No, I don't even expect brilliance. I just expect basic common sense, which I know is not really common. Well, stupid but things do have to happen to have to move the plot along. That's my point. I wish that it was more the kind of stuff where it was. It wasn't because people are idiots. Like in horror movies, you're like, you know, if you just didn't go in that creepy basement instead of don't go in here unless you want to die, then it wouldn't happen. So all of it is just, you're sitting there being like, you're an idiot, and that's why it's happening. I mean, and yeah, there's a lot of... Because if a, they're making stupid decisions, of course stupid stuff is going to happen. There is a lot of stupid decisions in Prometheus and um, Alien Covenant, which is also a, a largely talked about thing where people are like, oh, the characters are so stupid. I mean, I will agree. I mean, I've gotten to the point where I don't even give a fuck about that. Like, I'm just looking at it from, like, what is it trying to do? It's trying to explore, like, these themes of, like, you know, uh, what, why we were created and all that. I thought that was interesting with Prometheus. And then, like I said, Alien Covenant had to, like, kind of tie those loose ends together while also giving the people an alien movie at the same time. And I think it does a pretty good job. Like I said, it speed runs through all like the, the loose ends of the I mean, Prometheus it's super plot. long. It's so long and then the alien stuff just happens super fast. It's, it's just, I don't know, it felt not great. I, what makes it more digestible for me is just like how the movie was made and put together with the editing and the sound design and all that, yeah. Yeah, and then, oh, the whole backburster scene, that scene was fucking awesome. I mean, the Danny Bryant... That looks so Danny stupid. They, they just accelerated him shaking around looking pasty. 
Yeah, but the way it looked and the like the blood and then the the the, the editing and the and then like when she's running down the hall and it's all got the shaky cam. I'm just like, dude, this is so well. This is so well made. Yeah, but then if you compare that, I prefer like stuff like in Teen Wolf when it goes through the transformation and it's not all like super fast and weird stuff. That felt more impactful because like the slow transition of your own body to something that it's not. That was way cooler than just like ugh. That well, always yeah. feels stupid. They just go way too hard in the effects, but not even in a way that seems useful. Just because you can afford it doesn't mean you should pay for it. Well, you could... Well, look at the Prometheus scene with the, the pregnancy. That shit was, like, legitimately horrifying. <laughs> that shit was terrifying. Yeah, she's all, like, running around the hallway with this thing. But it also was stupid because it, you know... It was like, oh, no pain until you're like, wait, I'm not supposed to be pregnant. She's like, ah, shit, pain. It was just stupid. Bro, um... The way David, like, yeah, he the way he acts in Prometheus is awesome. How smart he is by, like, you know, he's, like, subtly doing stuff to, like, you know, basically act act towards the wishes of Waylon with Yutani, where he's, like, go do these things, go experiment on these people so we can somehow figure out the secret of life or whatever. Um, yeah. Notice how we've barely talked about Alien Romulus. Because we forget that they exist. Man, that's actually so disappointing. The more I think about how forgettable that movie is, the more disappointed I become. And, again, the stupid naming. There was no reason for it to name Romulus. Same with Prometheus, but I... Well, it's because it's the name yeah. of the ships. Yeah, but it's... Why Why did they choose the name Prometheus in that case? Because it doesn't make sense in terms of what their goals are, and it doesn't make sense in what the storyline is either, because that, for those that did not see that and don't remember the story, Prometheus gave humans fire. He felt bad breath being cold and wet all the time. And then he taught us how to trick the gods and have them have the like the lard and the bones for their sacrifice and we got to eat the meat and so they were punished or he was punished we were not really but so what if we're did... the fire though what if we're the fire how does that make sense no we're humans and they're like oh we need to give us stuff but the engineers cr created us apparently they think so what would be the fire? The black goo? Would well, that's we be my the point. Fire? I thought the whole thing was stupid. Like, why did they choose the name Prometheus? It's not like they're being punished forever for having tried to help us. It I mean, they are sense. being punished. They got punished in the Alien Covenant. Because they created us. We created David. Yeah, David killed them. everybody. Zeus punished them. That's the thing. They're just like, cool names, cool mythology. Let's just have it, like, have a dribble of sense. Yeah, because I was, I was trying to remember why they named Alien Covenant Alien Covenant, and then I was like, oh, it's the name of the covenant spaceship. With, oh, or is it like a... Well, because they were all religious, and I was like, Covenant with God. No, they weren't religious. They were just a colon, colonization. Like flock. The cross necklace that she uses to stab him in the neck. It was like... It was there. It was like... It wasn't trying to say anything, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really disappointed that we never got a, a sequel to Alien Covenant, though, because I, I was really interested in the whole david um storyline of how what's he gonna do with these colonists obviously he's gonna do some alien inbreeding or some shit well, also why does he think the aliens are so superior if they have like 10 different series they have to go through before they get to their form and even the adults cannot breed unless you have a special adult who is help basically helpless on their own unless they're not breeding which makes no sense why does he think they're perfect What's a fun fact is the deacon in Prometheus, I looked it up. I was like, what happens to the deacon in Prometheus? Because the deacon is not, like, the, the last thing you see in Prometheus, that's not, a alien, that's not a xenomorph, that's a that's a deacon. Um, and apparently, after it consumed... I don't remember what it looked like when I watched it just the other day. After it consumed all, like, the dead bodies and stuff on the planet, it just started eating, like, all the black goo. And it basically turned into a giant mountainous mass of just flesh, basically. And I was like, wow. The it would have been cool is, to explore though, that in the next movie. Since the black goo causes mutations, why is it a mutation of a random other life when it suddenly appears inside you instead of you being mutated? That doesn't make sense either. That's why I said I wish they had signed people to make these movies. I'm sure there was some sort of um, interpreter or something. I don't know. Really? Maybe. We watched the credits and I have yet to see anything about scientific We did guidance. not watch the credits. As soon as the, Reddit's, the credits pulled up, I was like, what'd you think? And it was like, that was not as good as the other last Yeah, time. but I have yet, I looked at it before hit pause, and I have yet to see anything about scientific advice or anything. And even if there was, whoever that person was, like, clearly were either not listened to or did not give very good advice. Because it just, it's all done to be cool, and none of it is done because it actually makes sense according to what we've observed so far. Okay. 
Final ranking, one last time. EVPR, Alien 3. I already gave my ranking. I just want to add the comment that also the, the, ch the themes changed a lot where the first one, I'm sure part of the reason they had the face huggers is because they're creepy, but also because it could explore that whole like man, woman, racism, all the stuff they're trying to explore there in that one. Having something that puts, you know, a thing down your mouth, into your throat, and down here and lays an egg in a weird version of something that some people like to do. Yeah, and it it's a guy that got the first one. Well, most of the dudes in Alien Covenant got it pretty bad. Yeah, but my point is the first one has the aliens there partly probably to explore that aspect of it where it's like you get something. Well, there's a lot of innuendo in the first Alien. There's a lot of subtext. Yeah, I don't know stuff, and the other ones are just kind of like aliens are cool. Let's just. I don't not think that think was intentional. It. I think that was just a byproduct of H.R. Geiger just being who he is by implementing a lot of phallic imagery. There's a great ret or retrospective. I think it's like five hours long. Time. I know. I think it's like five hours long on YouTube. That talks about all the nuances and yeah, like but it's stuff kind of like, like body. that. That's part of and how like horror. the synth blood is like white, like you know, breast milk and semen and stuff like that. Except and... they make it silvery later on, so it looks more like lead or mercury. Mm-hmm. So, Both yes. of which are toxic. So, okay. Okay. AVPR, Alien Three, Alien Romulus, Prometheus. Uh, Resurrection Covenant, Alien Aliens. Go. I already gave my reviews, you guys. You already heard them. <sighs> Jesus Christ. We're just gonna sit here a Until little while. Until time runs out for another five seconds. Let's just wait here a little while and see what happens. A little while, done.